Happy Holidays. I'm Carol Pitts Diedrichs, Vice Provost and Director of University Libraries at The Ohio State University. What a year it's been for the University Libraries. The renovation of the 18th Avenue Library has been very popular with our customers. The library is open 24 hours, seven days a week. The renovation resulted in a more intuitive first floor layout, a working fireplace, and a second entrance. We're looking forward to the opening of the Research Commons in the 18th Avenue Library early in 2016. This space will allow us to work with campus partners to provide support services at each stage of the research lifecycle. There's already a very robust website that links our researchers with resources, experts, and events. This year we've been able to add a number of new staff members to our organization. For example, we have a data management services librarian, a collection strategist, a geographic information systems specialist, just to name a few of those new unfamiliar titles that talk about the work that they're doing to support our faculty and students. The Food, Agriculture, and Environmental Sciences Library is in the final stages of a major renovation, which will reopen in early 2015 as the FAES Library and Student Success Center. The Billy Ireland Cartoon Library and Museum saw more than 15,000 visitors during its first full year of operation, establishing the facility as a destination for researchers and fans of cartoons and comics. The renovated Thompson Library began its sixth year of service in the fall. It remains a vibrant center not only for study and research, but also as an intellectual crossroads for the campus. Your donations enable us to develop innovative services, acquire new collections, and be good stewards of our resources. Legacies is a new library's publication released in the fall. It highlights the many endowments established for university libraries over the past 117 years. We are thankful for this long tradition of support and look forward to the year ahead as we focus on new endowments for the support of our mission. It was a thrill to welcome my colleagues from the Association of Research Libraries when they met in Columbus in May for their annual meeting. Directors and deans from the U.S. and Canadian research libraries visited the Thompson Library, where they were greeted by Executive Vice President and Provost Joseph Steinmetz and enjoyed the music of one of OSU's student a cappella groups. We were excited that the libraries has retained its position in the top 10, ranking at number seven among public university libraries. I was honored to serve as ARL's president during 2014, and I look forward to working with my colleagues in the year ahead as past president to address the national and global issues that impact academic libraries. We couldn't be more excited about the selection of Columbus to host the 2016 World Library and Information Congress, which is part of the International Federation of Library Associations and Institutions. At least 4,000 delegates are expected, putting our libraries, our university, and our community front and center. In 2015, the Bird Polar Research Center Archival Program will celebrate its 25th anniversary. To mark the 25th anniversary, the Polar Archives, in conjunction with the Bird Center and the OSU Libraries, will be offering public showings of the Discovery Film Series, shot during Bird's expeditions, that were recently restored thanks to a grant from the National Film Preservation Foundation. On behalf of all of us at the University Libraries, thank you for your support, and I hope you have a wonderful holiday season and a joyous new year.